quería otro para para que le hiciera compañía uh -huh. a mi peque, a mi, al pequeñito, al otro. Uno se llama Kobe y la otra se llama Luna. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening, guys. We're, we're talking about our pets. <laughs> What is it about your pets? Cats or dogs? Dogs. Uh -huh. Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> do, uh -huh. do you prefer to have dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Dogs, really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> And do you have pets? I have... <laughs> yeah, I do. Cat. I have uh, one dog. It's a Rottweiler, and I have uh, well, I have I have many. I have five cats in my house. <gasps> wow! <laughs> yeah, and it's some other. Yeah, I know. And some others are like in other houses. So yeah, <laughs> so I have like okay, they are not mine, but they are my friends, my families, and my boyfriends. They have <laughs> nine newborn cats. Nine. Oh my god. Nine oh, newborn wow. cats. So I'm planning to give them away, guys. <laughs> because they are a lot. Cats. <laughs> yeah. I do prefer <laughs> cats. I don't know. I, I like them both, but cats for me are just like, I don't know, more independent and they have their own like personality. And dogs are always like please like me please dogs are like they need so much attention they need a attention. lot of attention yeah and cats are like eh, i don't care if you want to be here, you don't have to give them bath <laughs> yeah and, ca and cats are like eh, you're a human you're my cats think i'm a servant to them uh -huh. yeah so they need everything from me and they're like you human you are here to obey me yeah but i like them i don't know why i just I just like them like that. <laughs> Even though they are like that, I like them. Okay. Excellent. Good job, guys. Thank you for being here punctual. So thank you very much. Uh, when I came here, there was Diana, Brenda, and Jessica. So I came a little bit late because I'm always like at 7.55 or 7.50 something. But today I was at 7.57 because I have a little bit of an issue, but I fixed it. So it's everything everything is all right. So welcome to the class. Welcome Diana, Brenda, Rolando, William, Ana, Ruth, Jessica, Juan Jose, Ana Elizabeth, Kerry, Flor, Suleima, and welcome everyone. It's, <laughs> it, this is a big, big, big group, but I want to say welcome to everyone all the time, but it, sometimes you're like 30 and I'm like, oh my God, that's a big number, right? But I hope, I do really hope that everyone here gets to the end of the module, right? That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter like if you're 30 at the beginning, but then at the end you're 15. So no, you have to be 30 the whole class. Okay, so as I said before, we're gonna go with the attendance because it's time already. I waited uh, one minute. Okay, so let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Excellent. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. Here. Excellent. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Eh, Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. No. Uh, Diana yes Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here. Thank you. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. I'm here. Uh, Juan Jose Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Perez. Katia is not here? Okay. Uh, Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Excellent. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. I'm here. Excellent. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Nope. Okay, uh, Suleima Lisette Mendez Romero. I'm here. Thank you. 
William Antonio Morales Mancia. I'm here. Thank you. And Jessica Yanari Cortes Díaz. I'm here. And Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay, guys, thank you very much for being punctual. And let's start. So guys, I wanted to say something because today I have to upload the grades of the first week. So if you have been working on the platform, today is my day to update the grades. So at the end of the class, I'm gonna be upgrading the dates. So if you have a little of, Miguel, tell me. Uh, teacher, I'm here, uh, don't, don't hear you, my name. Yeah, but I say, I said your name. I said it and I was like, isn't he here? I was like, yeah, but I said your name. Okay, uh, but thank you. Okay, thank you teacher. Okay, right, guys. So today when we finish the class, you know that I always stay like 10 minutes with, with another participant. Today I'm gonna stay with Diana. So in that time, maybe you can finish the homeworks that you have like, you haven't completed yet that they are in the platform for the first week. Because at the end of the class, when I finish with the last student, I'm gonna be checking the grades and I'm gonna be uploading the grades to the other system that we have that in for like they, they check that system all the time, right? So I'm gonna ask you if you can do that, that will be really helpful because I need to upload your grades this night and if you cannot do it this night, but I'm telling you this because I guess everyone works in the morning, right? You have to go to work in the morning. So yes, if you have to go to work in the morning, you, you can do it when we finish the class. That is the best time for you. Otherwise you will have to do it in the morning and you won't have the time, right? So the best option is that you do it when we finish the class. It's easy because there are like five, five, yeah, five, right? Just like five knowledge checks. So, and it's super easy, super quick to do. Okay, that is the first thing that I wanted to tell you. Uh, please, please, everyone go to the platform and complete that. The other one thinking about the same thing is that maybe it will be correct if you, I don't know where I left that. It will be correct if you try to do the exercises in advance. And maybe if you don't, you are not, you are not sure about the exercise and everything, when we go through that class, you go to the same exercise and you do it again, but you have done it before. So it's like a refreshment. I don't know if you get my idea. So maybe you can be working in advance. Here's the thing. I, I was trying to look for, for the thing where I, where I put your grades and there's a person, I don't remember the name. I'm just gonna say it like in general, there's a person who has been working until unit four. Yeah, so they have been working a lot and that is okay. That's always okay. I'm not gonna be like, why are you working in unit four? We're in unit one. I'm never gonna be like that. It's okay. As long as you do the exercises, that's perfect. The only problem that I have is with the people that, for example, today, I'm not gonna say names, that, that's okay. So I went to the platform today and I only saw zero, 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 zero. They haven't worked in one exercise at least. They haven't. So it's really important guys that you do go there. When we finish the class, just go to the platform. Okay, so this class was this today. So blah, 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 I'm gonna do this exercise quickly. I'm really sure that it won't take you more than five minutes. I don't know if you have done the exercises. It doesn't take more than five minutes. It's super quick to do. Every knowledge check is super quick to do. Do you have questions about that, guys? Yeah. Yeah, Brenda. Say, oh, Brenda, it's you. It's you. You're the one that have been working. <laughs> one question. There, there are three um questions or sentences that are there and then you do it correctly but the application mark as if they were wrong so the platform says that your exercise is wrong even when though you have it right. right 
I have, and that is in the um, homework 13 and 16. One? One is in No, 13. no, no, but the unit one? No, unit three. Unit three, okay, unit three, homework? 13. And? And there are two things that are marking you there that are wrong. There is the first one and the second one. Mm -hmm. And then in the other is the 16, you need uh, three also. And then in the second part marks you the second, it's wrong. Homework 16. Okay, let me check because we have to check that before we start. So like if you guys go through that exercise, you will be like, yeah, I know what happened here. Or maybe if it is a, a mistake with the platform, we can solve it. So let me check. You're saying, let me, let me, let me, let me. So you said section three, right? Uh, uh, okay, see, you need okay, three, yeah. <laughs> homework 13. You need three. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So let's, let's do it. I'm gonna share my screen so everyone okay. can see. So this is the one you said. Yeah. Let so me see. what sentence? In computer. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, and this is a mistake here. Okay. Okay. Tell the me. The first one and the second one will mark wrong. The first one and the second one. Uh -huh. So it says instructions identify oh but this is the mistake here uh -huh. identify identify the mistakes in each sentences and correct it my boss traveling to colombia for training about sales what is the mistake here you will say okay wait one second i'm trying to look for my um okay my boss uh, was traveling to colombia for training about sales that is what i write but when you want to check it, it's wrong. My boss was. Was, was. And why he not was. is? Okay, try it. My boss is traveling to Colombia for a training about sales oh it and i also write a ah, and doesn't have the a ah here right let's check i'm just gonna check oh no zero point so let's erase the a ah. sales capital letter teacher about sales okay let's try it this way let me see yeah it's correct now how is it is it's with is. yes okay is. let me check that and you also and you don't write the ah for a training no for training about sales that's it i'm just gonna copy it and i want to send it to you guys so sometimes guys what you have to do is just try to do it again but in this case um brenda i don't know what you were writing was instead of mm -hmm. is, but is, is for ongoing situation. I'm sorry, Flor, do you have something to say? Yes, we have to do just the section one. You need one. For today? Mm -hmm. Yes, only okay. section one. Okay. Thank if you, you want to do more, that's okay. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna be happy. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good, thank you. And the second one. The I'm second one, yes. writing a memo right now. I am. So I guess the mistake is this, right? I'm writing a memo right now. And the point at the end. So let's check that. Oh, it says incorrect. So let's see, I don't have spaces. I am writing a memo right now. Okay, give me a second. So, I am writing, ah, so yes, 
Brenda, thank you for that. Guys, this is a mistake in the platform. So it's not a mistake you are making. This is a mistake in the platform. So let me go ahead and show you what is the mistake. So every time you do this, guys, if you go, if you're working in advance, it will be helpful because we go through the exercises and we solve them together, like in this case. So in the platform, it's like this. So I'm gonna. Okay. So here, no, right now. Now, okay. So here it says now, not right now. So the platform takes it like that. So here has one structure and in the answer has another structure. So I'm writing a memo now. Should be, but it shouldn't. Should be right now. So, but I'm gonna submit that, you see? So that was the mistake. Mm -hmm. They were right, okay. I don't know why. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. uh, send this report. So maybe they can tell me something, maybe they can fix it. But if they cannot fix it, that is just a mistake. Just don't write the word right. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a mistake. Okay, do you have any other questions about that, guys? Nope. The, just uh, another one. Oh, sorry, the 16 is the other. So that is in section four. No, also in... in... No, oh, yeah. I think it's section four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Let me check. Mm -hmm. 16. So the second. the second one, mm -hmm. let's go and see. So this one, what time did she arrive at work? That's how you have mm -hmm. it? Yes. Maybe it's to work, I don't know. What time did she arrive at work? Okay, let's see. So that is incorrect. What time did she arrive to work? Okay, let me check if that is the platform. It can be the platform. You never know. So what did you, no. What time did she arrive at work? Huh? That is the answer? What? Time, pero tengo escrito igual y no me lo tomo correcto, okay. What el signo. time did she arrive at work? Pero tiene el mismo signo. I'm just gonna check. So, what time did she arrive at work? Huh, interesting. I'm gonna show you so you can see what I'm talking about because you puedo ver las respuestas. <laughs> so you see what time did she arrive to work? And here is the same, right? What time did she arrive at work? You see the same, right? I, I see the same. Do you see the same? Uh huh. Maybe yeah. there's that it's maybe there's a space. Maybe they did it with a space. No, they didn't do it with a space. So what can it be? Maybe at can the you... beginning of the sentence they did it with a space? Maybe that? No, they didn't. So what is the mistake? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, thank you, thank you for telling me. So it's Tarea 16, exercise two. Just that one? Just just the exercise two, yes. Brenda? Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. So it's it's the same. The same, but incorrect. Hmm. Teacher, I think there's there's a, a blank there's a, a space between work and question mark. You think that? I oh, think. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. No, it's not that. No. Look. And we have the space now, so I don't yes. know. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what is the problem, guys. But we're gonna, okay, that's in advance is unit 
four, section four, week four, and we're gonna work on that. So I'm gonna send the report tomorrow. Maybe they can fix it. And by the time we have to finish the platform, it will be right, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you, Brenda. Thank you for those mistakes. I'm gonna send the report so they can fix that. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys, so now let's get to our business. We finished the, set, the first week. So today we only have like a review of the first week. We have been learning about what? Can you remind me the topics we have been learning or studying? No, teacher, I don't remember. Nah, you don't remember? You don't write down the topics in a, in a, in a notebook? Yes, how to use can and can, can not. Uh-huh. What else? Um, could be and will be. Will be and will be. How to use time expression. Time expressions. That's a good one. And the final, the filling out a job application form. Excellent. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. I was like, oh. I feel sad now because my students didn't pay attention to me, but you did, you did at the end, you did. Okay, guys, so let me share my screen with you. So we go right to the topic we have for today. Remember, I always show you the first slide and the slide has the date, the topic, and you can write that down. I, I, I know I'm like you guys, I'm as a, as a teacher, I'm really, how can I say this? As a teacher, I'm really legal. So I do everything right. And I try to do the best of my job. But, so that, but as a student, you will see, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to write that. I'm just going to take a picture and that's okay. And I like, know a screenshot. I was there my start, right? So I'm, I'm like that. So I understand. But I ask you not to be like me. So don't be like me. You have to be better than me, even to speak English. So if you can write it down, because sometimes our minds, they remember the best when we write things. No funciona si toman screenshots. No funciona la mente tanto como cuando escriben, guys. I don't know why, but it, it it's just like that. I don't know. Okay, let's do this one. So can you help me read the topic for today, please, please, Rolando? Uh, the topic? Yeah. Review and practice. Thank you very much. Can you help me with the date, Ana Elizabeth? Today is Tuesday, May 18th. 2021. Excellent. Good job, guys. Both of you, good job. So, guys, do you know what is a manager? You... Yeah, exactly. So, the manager is basically the person who has the first contact with the, the first relation with the customers and also with the employees, right? So, the manager is there to help both parts. So, can you help me read this instruction right here, please? Scary. Or are you driving? No, no, no. I'm here. Okay. Um, a good manager. It identify with your classmate what you think are the characteristics of a good manager. Excellent. So let's talk about the characteristic that a good manager should have. First of all, I want to start with this difference and then it's your time to speak. I'm not going to speak. So I think there's a difference between a boss and a leader. I think we all know that, right? Like the boss is always like, you have to work, you have to do this, you have to do that, blah, blah, blah. And a leader, it's there like, you have to do it, but can I help you to do it? We can do it together. We can work in this. And the leader is different because the leader works with you and the boss, you work for the boss, right? But the leader works with you. So what do you prefer in your company? Do you prefer to have leaders or do you rather have bosses? Leaders. Leaders. 
leaders, okay. I mean, there could be people like are like, no, a mí me gusta que me manden, que me maltraten. Yo quiero un bus, right? So that it should be. I, I don't know. I don't like that, but people there can be like that. So I'm gonna send you guys to the breakout rooms, and I'm gonna ask you to do this: create a profile with the most important characteristics that you think a leader should have. So for example, you're gonna give me a profile that will be the best manager that could ever exist. And take this into consideration. Don't be like, uh, I want a manager that gives me five days off and I only have to work two days. And a manager that can do my job and I don't have to do it. I'm so not like that, right? Let's be real. How can be a good manager, but but in reality, not like we wish it to be, right? So did you understand the activity we're gonna do? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. so just to be clear with this, you're gonna create the profile, you're gonna write down the characteristics and you are gonna share with the class when we come back. So make sure to write it down in a place where you can read it again when we come back to the class, the main class. Yes? Yes, teacher. Today is Tuesday, guys. It's not Monday, so don't be like that. Today is Monday. You should be like, yes, teacher, let's do it, teacher. We yes, can do teacher. it. Yes, exactly. Yes, Very good. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> okay, let me see the groups if I like it. Uh, yeah, this one is good. It's okay with you guys. It's sometimes with some groups, I have people that don't speak at all, but you speak. Every time I go to the breakout rooms, you're speaking and I'm really proud of that. I like that. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. I sent you the invites. Let's go, go, go. Jennifer, what well, are the best characteristics? Uh, in addition, I consider that also he or she have to be part of the team and work together as a one person because all follow one objective. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. If you want, we can make a 
diapositiva. I don't know how to say that. Slide. Do you have? Do you have? Diapositiva. If you want, we can make a diapositiva. Diapositiva is a slide. A slide. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You will be okay. share with us. Yeah, if you want, I can do it. Yes, do it. Do we have that right now? I think you can share the screen, guys. Right? You can share. Yes, we can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you can do that, that will be awesome. Okay. Okay. Just one moment. I will open PowerPoint. Responsibility. Mm -hmm. In the in the thing in the in the um, office, for example. Mm -hmm, yeah. uh, I think that the I think that a good profile uh, must be, for example, uh, the leader uh, mm -hmm. must be passion for the work. Mm -hmm. Must be passion for the work, uh, for the example for the other peoples. Mm -hmm. If the people um, to see that you put passion in your work, then they have to be patient too in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. You almost say everything that you think is like uh, the characteristic that a good leader have to have. It's very nice. I have write down all of them that you said, um, trying to make them short. Now I would like also to listen what Ruth think about it. And uh, uh, um, I think okay. that Sorry, <laughs> I think that a, a good uh, leader, uh, he will be, a, uh, he must be a big, big kind, uh, but uh, demanding when, when, when uh, this, when uh, will be necessary. Uh, okay. I think that uh, a good leader uh, must be must be a, a tolerant 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 but not a handle handle a ma manipulable. Uh, that word I don't have it. Teacher, please. Handle like, I don't know. Manipular, in what sense? Like when somebody tries uh, to force you to do something by- Manipulate. Uh, manipulate. Yeah. Uh, because if you want to say like manipular, like manipular una máquina, that's handle. That's blackmail handle. you. That is the word, blackmail you. I think so. Blackmail you? No. Manipulate no. is manipular. Blackmail is when you do the chantaje. That is blackmail. I, 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 something like that. Like he, we want to refer that he doesn't oh. blackmail you to force you to do something. Like if you don't do this, we will throw you away or something. Yeah, blackmail you is, for example, when you have proofs of against someone. Y si tienes las pruebas y le dices, si no haces esto, voy a sacar a la vista esto. So that is blackmail. Mm, and then in this case will be like manipulate, manipulate, like, manipulate you. Yeah. I'm okay. Like to don't lose the job. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Manipulate you. Uh, the different that the leader and the, and the, and the boss is that the boss only say do it. Yeah. And the leader, uh, teach to do so or, or maybe sometimes uh, do it together yeah do it together do it together yeah. yes yes yeah yeah the leader may be may, may be uh, between in a group of employer and you is difficult to identify it because he looked like 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 other employees yes yeah not like a boss yes not it's like different a boss. it's different yeah 
Okay. Well, I don't know how what other characteristic that a, a, a leader. I I think that uh, uh, we have mentioned. Yeah, um, maybe the leader <clears throat> can be able uh, to help others, especially when they when they had problems. Because if you're talking about um, an angry manager, uh -huh. uh, yeah, if you don't want an angry manager, we can choose for a friendly manager. Friendly, friendly manager, yeah. Because maybe not all the people is going to follow the rules with him, that they have to follow the rules, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. What else? I don't know oh, what more. Um, it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> we I think have to look for the characteristics, or maybe if you want, if you you have to think in the best manager for you in your imagination, because imagination, imagination, G G G imagination, imagination. Yes. Imagination. No, imagination. <laughs> imagination. Imagination. Working with, with them. Good, good will. Good someone, will. Someone who good should will. share, right? Someone, yes. Someone share his knowledge. Who should share his knowledge. Yes. yes. His knowledge. Good will. Okay. So in the first one, maybe we can say he has to be friendly and responsible, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. He has yeah. to be friendly. Um, he has to be persistent. Persistent, and, correct. And with this, that is the correct when, word. Yeah, but it says it's pronounced like persistent. No persistent. Yeah, talking about talking about the stress. Remember, it's not persistent. It's persistent. Oh, okay. Persistent. Persistent. You have to be persistent. Yeah. Persistent. Yes. Okay. And. Brenda, your last name is not really common, right? Science? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. But do, do you know someone in English Corporativo? Well, see, if I ask my parents, they will say yes. <laughs> oh, but you don't. No, but the family is very big, but they know. 
They know each other. Almost everybody. Uh, almost everybody, yeah. Uh, for example, you said that you are from San Miguel, right? No, I'm from Usulután. Usulután, but from that zone. So they are also from that zone. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. in Usulután, you can find somebody that is my family there. With the last name signs? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it happens the same with my last name, like um, Sayas. 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 Sayas, uh -huh. aha. Yeah. So okay. if a person has that last name, maybe I'm pretty it sure they're my family. family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> okay, guys. So you were talking in the breakup rooms about the qualities and the characteristics that a good manager should have. And I found it interesting, right? So you were saying some interesting characteristics, but now is the time for like we can talk about uh, talk about it like here as a whole group so the first group that i'm gonna ask you to give me the characteristics is kerry suleima and jessica please okay who would like to start <laughs> you <laughs> okay we were talking about um most of the good characteristics that we can um, we can select to be a good manager, a good leader. Uh, the first one that we were agree is that he may have a good communication skills to talk with employees, with everybody in the company. Also, he has to be well organized with every task that they, they that may be she he will be doing. Um, he will he has to be friendly and polite. Um, also, that he has to be he has to have a great um, multitasking skills. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, uh, that was really good, Carrie. But remember, we don't know if the person is a he or a she, right? Yes. Maybe the manager yes. can be a she. Yes. So in this mm -hmm. case, we can say this person should have, mm -hmm. the manager should have, the manager should be. Maybe use the word person or manager, mm -hmm. because if you don't know, like if it's, it's a boy or a girl, right? Boy or girl. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we have many managers that are girls, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. But thank you, Carrie. That was really good. And actually... In the last, in the in the coming exercise that we have, we talk about the good communication skills. So that was a really good one. Okay, that was Carrie, and thank you very much. So that was your group, I guess. That what that was what you talked with your group. Uh, do you want some? Do you want to talk about something else, Suleyma or Jessica? Do you want to add up to that? No? Yes, uh, we were talking. Yeah, teacher. We were talking about, um, for example, one point that is a fairly a friendly person. Uh, the manager should be a friendly person because we know that he's a leader. And many employees are following him or her. So we have to have good um, examples for him. We have to look for positive, the things that we have to, because maybe in the future we can be a manager too. No, uh, to, to. Yeah, that having, should be, I that should be your objective, <laughs> right? Like I wanna be, a, that's your aim, right? Excellent. Yeah, so that, and that characteristics was really uh, a good point for us. Okay, excellent. In our group, yeah. Being friendly, right? Be friendly, yeah. Okay. And I like that, guys. Being friendly is really important because I try to be friendly with you too. Like I'm not a manager, but I'm your teacher, right? So I try to be friendly, but this happens to me sometimes. I don't know, Juan Jose is a teacher as well. But when you are like, you have to be friendly, but you have to find the balance on being friendly. Because sometimes when you are too friendly, students or your employees, tend to be like, yeah, we're friends. So they start joking with you around and they start like making jokes and stuff like that. So you have to keep that balance, right? Not to be too friendly, but not to be angry all the time. So just like 
right, Juan Jose? Because sometimes yes, <laughs> that can be an issue when you're like too friendly. That has happened to me. Like when students try to call me, there is the first mistake. Like when the people try to call you boss or lo tutean a uno, it's, I, at the beginning, I was like, no, si yo tengo la misma edad, para quien me van a decir usted, to thank me, right? But that's a mistake. It's a big mistake. Cuando uno deja que lo tuteen, they lose respect. Yes. So, yeah, that, that, that's a thing. So now, when a person calls me, like, boss, I'm always saying usted to that person. Para que entienda de que yo le trato por usted, para que me trate por usted, right? So I, I don't know, That's the, uh, that was a good point, Suleitma, but I think we should have the balance on that situation, right? Because sometimes it can get out of hand. Very good. So Kerry, you wanna add something or let's go with the next group? Nothing? Okay, good. Let's go with Anna, Harbin and Jennifer. If just one person wants to speak, that's okay. Just choose one person. So you make, we make it quick. But one person should speak. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I will. Okay. Okay. Wow, you have a presentation. Yes, I have something little. A small. Wow, small. I'm just trying to, well, we did a list of the characters that a uh, manager should have in our opinion. And the first one is being a good leader. Also should have or should it be a person. And we, we think that also uh, he or he need to be sociable, but serious when the case or if the situation is necessary to be serious. And also there we have to separate the things if you are a manager and also should have um, the ability to multitask um, different uh, different things and also work hard side to side with the staff, decision with his behavior, behavior. and also behave, behavior. behavior and hand the pressure of the lead a team. Excellent, very good, good job guys. Good job Jennifer, uh, that was Jennifer, Harbin and Anna, right? Good job, thank you very much. Let's go with the next group, that will be Diana Flor Miguel. Who's gonna speak? <laughs> Flor, Flor. <laughs> okay, Flor, your time to shine, Flor. <laughs> okay, we think that the manager has to be friendly and responsible. He has to, to be persistent and with discipline, someone who should share his knowledge, has to be a person who is inspired us, someone who is passionate with that he does or she does, um, an integral, an integral person um, must have clear ideas and thoughts. Thoughts uh, must be able to clearly co communicate his vision and organization visions. Okay, okay, excellent. I like that. Very good job, Flor, uh, Diana, and who was the other person? Flor, Diana, and Miguel. Excellent. Good job. Let's go with Anna, Rolando, and William. Who's going to speak? Okay. Uh, William, okay. The manager uh, had to be pay attention to the, to the co-workers. Uh, show, show empathy. Em, empathy. 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 And have to be 
killed are delegating task. Mm -hmm. have, the, the, the leader have 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 two skill to delegate and stuff. Okay. Uh, another is uh, taking the right decision at the right time. Okay. And and, and another is uh, having an emotional intelligence. That's a really good one. I like it. Yeah. This is the most important bit, I think. Yeah, that's really important. Thank you, thank you, thank you, William. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Rolando. That was really interesting. I like the one that like they have to have the emotional intelligence because we people we we think that the most important intelligence that we should have intelligence that we should have is being smart in the classes and having good grades and stuff. But one of the most important ones is to be able to separate emotions and sometimes put aside the feelings so you don't get involved emotionally in decisions and stuff like that. So for example, I don't know, someone is fighting and they, they are fighting with you and they are saying bad things about you and stuff like that, but you have to be neutral in that situation, just keep calm, and not to take it personal because maybe they are angry because they have to work on a Sunday and they had plans for the Sunday, but you have to be like smart. That was really good. Thank you, William. Um, yeah, this group one already. This one too. Uh, Brenda, Ruth, Juan Jose. Hi, teacher. Uh, we talk about uh, like a good leader uh, should be the example of, for everybody. And and like uh, say Juan Jose, if the uh, if this person is in the example, uh, the team work uh, work bad, <laughs> and it. The leader uh, also should be a uh, could be tolerant, tolerant mm -hmm. that won't be man manipulate. manipulative. Manipulative, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, also, the uh, this person should be a social person and kind, and know that the job process uh, to teach uh, a, a teamwork. Excellent. Uh, and finally, uh, the, uh, the leader know uh, the leader must be kind, uh, but demanding when uh, when will be necessary okay so like they should be they should there should be a balance right there should be a balance on that in between that excellent and i like the sociable part but again i'm a teacher not a manager but i'm really social i like to speak a lot but i like to speak not only about english i like to go with the gossip and i like to be like and i like to speak <laughs> But sometimes I have to put a stop in the conversation and go ahead like, hey, guys, we have to continue with the class, right? Because I, even though I'm sociable, I have to be the one that is like, no, but we have to do this and we have to do that. I have to be the responsible and the sociable but responsible person, right? So I think it goes the same with the manager. Okay, so I have the group Anna, Harvin and Jennifer, Brenda, Juan Jose, Ruth, Anna, Rolando and William, yeah. Kerry, Suleiman, and Jessica, you, you did it already, right, guys? Diana, oh, yeah, so everyone went already. Excellent, good job. So, guys, we have a, now we have a reading. There's a reading in the platform. If you can go to your student's manual, we're going to go there. It's the last part in unit one, okay? The last part in unit one, we have a reading part. 
I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so you can see the reading that I'm, talk I'm talking about. It's a reading about being a good manager as well. And it has like different parts on it. But just wait a minute. Let me get a cut, a cut. The platform doesn't want to load. No, the unit one. Excellent, there we go. Wait a minute, please. Guys, you have videos there in the in the in the manual. If you can watch them, go ahead and watch them. It's just I cannot play them in the class because copyright. I cannot go with the copyright. Teacher. Yeah. That is another point with the videos. When you play them and they just have the video one in the link. So it doesn't matter to which class you go, it will be playing the same video. Oh, like, uh -huh. oh, oh, like, uh, hi, my name is Jennifer Miller. <laughs> I have heard that thousand times. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. That, okay, that's my fault. That's just an example video. This, because the videos that we have there in the platform are the videos we record here in the class. So if you go, for example, to the first class, you will see the first video that we we were in the class. So when I give that class, <laughs> so it's not like back 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 in time, like with the vuelta al futuro, that I'm gonna be like sending the videos there, like no. So I record the video and then I upload the video. That's just an example there. And you have been watching Jennifer Miller all this time. <laughs> No, no, no. It's it's because the, the videos that I record are the videos that we play there. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Miller. My, yeah, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I dream about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. A nightmare. <laughs> but now you now you understand, right? What, what so we have to watch the complete video about the class then? No, <laughs> no. That's just in a re, like a reinforcement. There. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you, yeah, I know. If you go there, for example, that class, you couldn't be here, or maybe you weren't paying attention in that class, you can watch the video again. That's what, what they are there for. Okay. Let's go to the reading. So this is the reading we have right here, guys. Uh, can you help me read the instructions, please? Uh, Ana Beatriz. Read this internet article, five requirements of the perfect manager. Okay, repeat this word, article. Article. Requirements. Requirements. Requirements, okay guys, thank you very much. So the thing we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna read the article and you pay attention to the pronunciations and then you are going to read the article, yes? Understand? Yes. Excellent, yes. guys. Let's yes. go. So right now you just listen and then you read it. But you can be reading at the same time, right? So but pay attention to the pronunciation. Déjenme buscar el cursor que tiene el foquito. Yes, there we go. Be a people person. Nox Norsod is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon, better than English, <laughs> you're not a good fit for our man managerial team. Guys, do you know what is Klingon? No? No. No. Have you ever watched The Big Bang Theory? Yeah. So yeah. Sheldon and his friends, they speak Klingon, like 
mm, I don't know, there's an idiom, I mean, I know the idiom, a language from Star Wars, Klingon. That, that, I think that's what it is. So it says that, for example, if you only work with computers and you're a freaky, like you don't, you don't speak to people, then you're not a good material to be a manager. So you have to be like social. Let's go with the next one. Be a good, wait a minute, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to roadline update your employees on their, wait a minute guys, because tengo alguien con el micrófono encendido. Yes, there we go. Yeah. Uh, you will be required to roadline update your employees on their and the, and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide provide status information when asked or asked. Asked. Excellent. Asked. Good job. Asked. Qué rápido aprenden, guys. I have a question. Yeah. Where is Norsod? Oh, that is the name of the company. So, es como que ellos están buscando un personal y ese es el nombre de la compañía. Yeah. Uh, okay. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Noxor, Asistencia, okay, I'm just finished reading. The products we create at Noxor are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number or hashtag, but you should be able to give technical guidance, guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Feet or the match of the penguins does not qualify, <laughs> does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. This is a chiste in English. Like, because Linux, do you know what is Linux pet? What is the mascot of Linux? Uh, Penguin. Oh, penguin. Penguin, ok, so dice que si han visto la película de Happy Feet y The March of the Penguins, no significa que sean buenos en Linux, Linux, right? It's, it's a joke. On, encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important in Noxor, Norxod, Nox, Norxod, right? Norxod. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at Nox, Noroxod hmm, for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Five, lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Noroxod all managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be able to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It is all about doing instead of pontif. Okay, it's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay, so I'm going to go with the attendance, guys, because we need to go to the attendance and then we're going to continue with the reading. Mm, there we go. Okay, cameras on. Welcome, Katia. Okay, let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. 
Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Cárcamo Argueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Uh, fl yeah, Florida Alma is here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I'm here. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Um, Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here, Christian. Um, yeah, I think Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Yes, I'm here. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Ciudad, I mean, Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Excelente. <laughs> Um, Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Suleima Lisette Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay, good. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do the reading. We're gonna do a guide reading, okay? So let's go with it. We are gonna read, so let me explain this to you. Teacher? Yeah. Uh, what is the, the correct pronunciation for the, this word, rotimeli, rotimeli? Is in the in reading? The, in the second. Be a good communicator. Routinely. Routinely. Yeah, me puso en jaque ya. Let me see. Routinely. Let me look for it. I routinely. 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 It's routinely. Routine. It's routinely, routinely. It's like a routine, but with Lee, routinely, okay? Thank you. Routinely, yeah. Okay, uh, let's go. I'm gonna share my screen, but then, uh, Miguel Angel, I'm sorry. I didn't see your hand. Teacher, um... Could you help me with the pronunciation uh, in the number five? Uh, is red available or by, by, uh, available? Available. Available. Yeah, but remember, the pronunciation of this letter is the, the, right? So it's uh, available, available. Available. No, like this. Available. Available. Yeah, something like that. But remember to do this available. Available. Okay. 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 Very good. Yeah, Jessica, like that. <laughs> Hello. Hello guys, can you hear me? Hello. Reina. Oh yeah. <laughs> the signal is bad, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hmm. Yes. 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 We were practicing, I, teacher. We were okay, practicing. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, I was so scared. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. And can you see me? Yes. 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 
Pero me ven así como que me estoy moviendo yes, así todo yes. lento o me no, muevo bien. No, no, normal. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know, there's something, because sometimes like we're like, yeah, I can see you, but we are like, right? I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Oh my God, you should have seen me when I when the internet went down. I was like, oh my God, no, the class, the video. Uh, <sighs> ya voy a ir a pelear mañana. Ustedes me van a pagar, les voy a decir, ustedes me van a pagar. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any more questions with the pronunciation? No. No? Oh. I... I have a question with effectively. 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 Yeah, effectively. Okay. Any more questions? Um, maybe our managerial. Managerial, yeah, I saw that one. That one is confusing. And what number is that one? First one. Okay, Knox for Knox for at the end. Managerial. I think it's managerial, but I'm gonna look for it. Not not to lie to you. Just, just wait a minute. Mana. I think it's managerial, but I don't know. Managerial, yeah, it's managerial. Managerial. Listen. Managerial. Can you hear? Yes. Managerial. Thank you. Yes, managerial. Managerial. Okay, very good. Any more questions? Nope. Nope. Okay, we're gonna do the guy reading that I was telling you. The guy reading means that you have to read until the point that I tell you to read. So you have to be paying attention because sometimes my students are like. ¿Y qué sigue, teacher? ¿Por dónde iba el compañero? Or, or, where are we? And, or you start reading the other part the classmate were, was saying, right? So you have to be paying attention. Everyone has to be reading at the same time. Okay, let's go with it. Um, let's start with... Let me, let me do something. Let me do something. Ah, and remember, you have to have your microphones off only only the people that or only the person who's going to be speaking needs to have the microphone on okay let's start with root uh, what root <laughs> oh root sarai the other one is not here i guess okay um okay the number one be a people person not sure is people and we are looking for a um, manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. Thank you. You should know. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's resolution. Let's go with Juan Jose. Okay. Um, you should know how people work and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand uh, Klingon uh, better than English, you are not a good fit um, of our manage, managerial team. Managerial? Ex managerial, managerial. Managerial team. Excellent, thank you very much, Diana. Oh, be a good communicator. Communicator. Communicator, you should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Excellent. Let's go now with Brenda. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees. Routinely. Their, Remember, routinely. Routinely. Update your employees on their and the team's performance. Thank you very much. Let's continue with William. You will communicate any feedback from upper management 
and customers and provide status information when asked. Thank you very much, Rolando. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Noxod, Noxod, Noxod. Noxod are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance. Okay, I, there, we can stop there in guidance. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Anna Elizabeth. And decide the best strategies. Strategies. And strategies and methods for success. And no having watch a happy feet or the march of the penguins uh, doesn't qualify you as a technically proficient in Linux. 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 Okay, let's go. Yeah, I know in Linux is like in Spanish, right? Fro Floridalma. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northsot. Not only are you required to encourage the best, the best practice for building teamwork. Okay, thank you. Let's go with Harbin. You I consider a part of the team. We have no doors at the Noxford for you to hide be behind. Thank you very much, Kerry. We have, our, in fact, we, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Thank you very much. Guys, I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna give you a clue. I'm gonna give you a key to pronunciation. The words that it starts, but I already told you, I guess, with an S, you don't say like a space, right? You don't say a space, you say, Space, space, right? Space. But here's a key for you. When you have a word next to the one that starts with an S, try to join them together. For example, let me show you this. When you say, do you say police station or you say police station? Police station. So you joined it. You see it? Police station. You say police station, police station. You don't say police, police station, police station. You joined it and you say police station. So mm -hmm. that is a key for you when you're reading. For example, in this case, let me explain it to you here. Mm, okay. We have no traditional office space. You see, office space. I don't say office space, right? Office space, no, office space, right? The thing when you have to read in English is that you have sometimes to join the words. Don't say them separately. So you have to speak as a whole sentence sometimes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Okay, so right now we're gonna do a guy reading. So I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms and we are gonna read this again with our team, with our classmates. And the main activity you will have is that you have to talk. You have to discuss every point in the reading. So you read the point number one, and then you're like, what do you think about it? Do you know an example about this? Is your manager like this in your, in your workplace? So you have to ask questions and talk about every point that you read. So just to know what you think about it. Is it clear? Yeah? Okay. If yes. you want to, I can share my screen again so you, you can take a screenshot. Or if you want to, you can go to the platform because the book is there and the page is page 17. But if you cannot do it, I'm gonna share the screen. You want me to share the screen? No? Or do you have yes. it in the platform? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna share. Okay, so this is the first one. Tell me when you have the screenshot so I can like go down. Go down, please, teacher. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yes, I am. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So, um, mm, 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 mm. Kerry, what are we going to do in the breakout rooms? We are going to have a guy reading and we can talk about something related about we were we are reading at the same time of about our experience and something related that we are reading. Okay, thank you very much, Kerry. Yes, about your experience or maybe something that you think or something you want to add up to the reading. Okay, very good. Excellent. You're so smart, guys. You're really smart. Okay, let me create these breaker rooms again. This is, yeah, this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this breakout room. I don't like this breakout room. Porque van a estar muy callados. Si aquí están callados, imagínense allá. This one is okay, I guess. Yeah, let's go. Suleyma, what happened? Sorry, teacher, my computer uh, was um, turned on. <laughs> oh, so your computer like didn't have battery? Yes, then I connect quickly in my phone, but I have some troubles to use the application because I like to use more the computer to have the class, not the cell phone. Okay. And now I, I am in the class, but in the computer. No, okay. <laughs> did you did, were you when you when we were reading? Uh yes, part of that. You said that we're going to read the the, the paragraph and talk about that. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna send you to a breaker room so you can speak with your classmates, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry, it's okay. think that you are you are um, 
uh, I don't know how to say, when you, uh, difference. Uh, when you have difference with uh, one people and the other people, the, the thing many, many the, the people many think that uh, is not correct. Sometimes it's not correct. It's, it's when, when, when you say you, one, one child, say me, uh, you have a preference with uh, my other brother, or you have preference with my sister. It's not correct. All my 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 uh, child, all my daughter are equal for me. In the team is is similar. Uh, um, all the people are equal, uh, but uh, sometimes there are one people that the thing the is not equal. It's very difficult when the people think that it's not easy to relate relation to re the resolution for that uh, problem. Okay. I, I am totally agree with that because it's really important to be a person, a people person, uh, if you are a leader, or because that's great. Yes, yes, and yes. I think but, Harbin is a little bit shy. This is something that I'm going to have to say. Sorry. Uh, for example, with my friend, I I can start to. To speak with them, but in my job, is so difficult and it's different because of, it's difficult to me to communicate with another person that I didn't know anything. I don't know why, but to me it's <laughs> difficult. Okay. I can, in my case, I can be serious. <laughs> in my really? case, uh, uh, you are really. <laughs> No, I don't think he's unfriendly. Um, no, you. Oh, me, I'm friendly. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, friendly. you are friendly. You are very ah, friendly. Ah, yes. Yes, I think I am. <laughs> and to be available to give guidance and help when need. Leading by example means working late on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same wash room as your employees, it's all about doing instead of quantificate, quantificating and doing the right thing. Esa palabra, in, se dice instead, instead. Instead, and instead. quantificating. Quantificating. Quantificating, thank you. Yeah. Quantificating. Okay. Now. Maintenance department. Yeah. Maintenance. Maintenance department. Maintenance department. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, I I had to be clear with with my my work when we have uh, some problems in the mach in the printing machine uh, because uh, if we don't have clear with the problem we we, we don't we don't fix him. Yeah, and this is this is uh, for my job is really important the communication. Norm uh, normally the newspaper make it. Yeah, Rolando. Sorry, continue. Okay, normally uh, uh, the newspaper make at night, the printing mm -hmm. at night, and and then. Um, has the responsibility to feel motivate uh, all the time, motivating the people uh, because without motivating, maybe they are not going to do the things well and is not going to work that thing. Yes, yes, it's true. Yes, I, I, I agree. Ag I agree too, because if you don't feel as employee, if you don't feel a real connection with your boss or your manager or your mm -hmm. leader yes the the results normally the results uh, will be enough to the company yeah yeah mm -hmm. i think and the people uh, had to be all the time motivated uh, but the most important is that the leader or the manager 
can talk every day, uh, explains the poor problems that they have uh, yesterday and try to try to resolve. Maybe that can be a boy, another situation like that. And so the people had to be happy when had the complete uh, complete hell uh, from his leader. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, number two. If you want, you can read Ana Beatriz. Okay, you should be able to communicate effectively using all methods. Make a mistake sometimes. Okay, and you, Kerry, what do you think about um, Ruth, uh, her, her bus? I believe that it's really important to, if, if someone is in a high position, like a leader or a boss or a team manager or something like that, is their responsibility to show us, to guide us, to make our, our work better, in, in, always innovate. And some people get stuck because um, our bosses are rude, we lost um, motivation, we don't want to work anymore there, or we are not um, given um, an extra mile. Uh, we are just uh, uh, waiting for uh, to get out of the job because it doesn't may doesn't create a good environment. And also, I think that um, it's really important to have a leader that always. It's not only give us a mandatory um, man giving us instructions or being rude. It's always. Um, good to have someone to have confidence um, to be a part of a team. And we um, are always, it's important to have- Full of significant and doing the right- It is quantificating. Quantificating. Okay, and doing the right thing. I think the last one is a perfect example for a leader, right? They yes. have yeah. to to be the example for the others in the in the team. And if the leader is uh, dressed professionally, everyone's to be like that. But if the leader is like whatever, like t-shirt, like leader t-shirt, or in pants and tennis at a job. Mm -hmm. um all the teamwork will be the same as him i mm -hmm. think i think so yes and yes, also yes. i want to to read this part that that uh, or dreams for goals and if you give up at the first time that you have a problem you never will achieve your goals your dreams and I know that we have to work so hard to get our mm -hmm. goals. Yeah. You know, uh, another thing that I believe is that um, with hard work, effort, and um, commitment with the things that you do, everybody can be mm -hmm. a leader. But the point is, like, mm -hmm. you have to know that be a leader is not to be telling what to do to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, know how to do the things and know mm -hmm. how to make them work for the um, uh, for the goal you have yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think that it will be the most important because obviously uh, well in my case i i like to feel that i am part of my team and they work for me and i work for them uh, i think that is it's the same that to be a leader right yes. because our for you to do the things in the best way possible and uh, it gives uh, extra uh, 
value to your uh, work. Yes. So in the in the each team have to be a leader. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like a like a sport in the football have to be a leader. In the basketball have to be maybe he 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 never imagined that situation is happening. Yes. Imagine. Yes. Imagine. Imagine. Yes. Number three, girls. Suleima. I can read it. Let me put in my cell phone because I'm really I can't see very well the letters. <laughs> Don't worry, I can see too. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Okay, be technically proficient. 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 Okay. And the products we create at Noxord, Nox, North Sword are techni technical, complete, complicated. You don't need to be able to code and see, but you should be able to give the initial guide, guide guidance. And guide, guidance and decide the best strategies and methods to, su to strategies, success. Strategies for, for success. Strategies. Strategies.
Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? How was the activity? Pretty good. What? Excellent. Interesting. Interesting. You were talking. I, I heard you. Like everyone was talking, giving their opinions. Did you talk about an experience? Have you ever? Well, this is a complicated question, but I don't know. Have you ever had an excellent manager that you're like, yeah, I like to work with this person? <laughs> no, okay, no, okay. <laughs> I'll take that laugh it, as a no. Yeah, yes. I had a I had a bus. You had a bus? Yes, I, I had a bus. It was really good person? Uh, no comment. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Juan Jose, you were talking, you had a good experience? Yes, many experience, bad and good. Um, the best experience I had is what in, in World Vision. World Vision is uh, enterprises, and my boss it was excellent. Excellent really? people, excellent person. Um, uh, but I, I have worked in another place that my boss is not good. <laughs> <laughs> More yeah. places with bad bosses than than places with good bosses. It, it, it's very problem when you uh, work in one uh, enterprise and the boss. Uh, don't have many many enlargement. Uh don't don't know don't don't um, have the knowledge for, yes uh, for example uh, I work in uh, I don't remember the save the children I, mm -hmm. I work in save the children and the the my boss it was agronomy and I I I am an architect it's very difficult to coordinate some something. And you were working in something related to architecture. Yes, and my uh, my boss, it was agronomy. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to understand. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I don't know the situation, Juan Jose, because I have never had the, well, well, yeah, I have never had the, 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 the that case. But that is a problem here in El Salvador, right? That sometimes people, they have this and yeah. <laughs> they start working in a high position and the people that really know are like, yeah, I cannot do anything because they don't know how to work, but I have to, I have to take advice from a person that doesn't know the job. <laughs> So I guess that's complicated, right, Juan Jose? In this moment, I live as um, something similar. I am an architect, I am an engineer, a civil engineer, but the careers uh, that I am supervising, uh, for example, licen licenciatura, I don't bachelor. know. Bachelor. The bachelor in video games is a career. Another career is um, uh, design, graphic. Graphic design? Graphic design is other career. Uh, other career is design of um, modas, diseño de modas. Okay, fashion design. Okay, is other career. And I am architect. I am a civil engineer. It's very different. But the, the most important is the, the way I am to direct uh, the many things. But the, for the these purpose. careers, but on, in these careers, you're like a coordinator. You don't teach, right? You're like just organizing no, and no. stuff like that. Yes, yes, supervising the the administrative activities. Yeah, uh, in that case, I teach. guess is in that case, I guess you're there because of your experience. Yes teaching right yeah so sometimes it's like you get high positions just because you're a teacher but the but you said that you had a master in education yes so <laughs> it's it's yeah i know you're an architect and an engineer but you have a master in education so you know something about what you're doing right yes 
it's very different with the person that was studying like the agronomia, right? And you were <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's completely different, I know. Okay, you guys. Yeah. So now we have to answer this. Look at this. So we have to answer these statements. Are these statements true or false based on what we just read, okay? So the first statement here says, can you read the first statement, please? Mm, Suleyma? Sure. It is more important, important to manage systems than people. Is that true or false? False. 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 Yes, I think it's false too. Because if maybe it's more important to manage systems, but in another job position. And this job position is false, false, right? Can you read the second one, please? Anna, Elizabeth? Sure. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. To be a good communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Is that true, true. or false? True. 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 Okay. True. Number three. Can you help me read number three, please? Harbin. In order to be a technical proficient. Techni technically proficient. Technical proficient. Giving one's option is enough. Giving okay. one's, what is the here? Can you repeat this word? Giving one's opinion is enough. Okay, very good, opinion. So in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough? I think it's false. Just giving your opinion, right? It's. False. False. Do you agree, guys? False. False. Okay. Number four. Can you read number four, please? Katia. Encouraging. 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 Teamwork is as important uh, as being part of the team. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Katia. Just repeat this word. Being. Okay, so encouraging teamwork is as important as team. being part of the team, right? So true or false? True. 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 Yes, because you have to be part of the team. You have to be part of the staff. Number five. Can you read number five, please? Miguel. Okay. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekend off. Is that true or false, guys? False, false, false. false, false. Right, because you have to be working the same as your team, right? Excellent, okay? Just have it like that, okay? The next part and the last part, actually. So, grinding. can you help me read the instructions, please, Ruth? Yes, uh, write a seven line paragraph about your work exper experience and personal information, such as a study experience and other jobs. Okay, so I want you to think about, thank you, Ruth, thank you very much. So I want you to think about your work experience, personal information, such as studies, experiences, and, you know, and other jobs. So you're going to like, you're going to create your professional profile right now. So just write a seven line paragraph. It can be less than seven line paragraph. And you have to add your work experience, your personal information, your studies, your experience in the job, and the other jobs you have had. I'm going to give you five minutes to do it. Okay. Just write it in a piece of paper. Doesn't matter if you send it to, the, to, to, to here. Just, I just wanted to write it in a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. 
Déjame ver el ventilador que está haciendo mucho calor. That was fast. Excellent. Good job. Good job. I like it. But about your studies? Write something about your studies, maybe. Or everything is empirical. <laughs> most of most of the knowledge is like that, guys. Yeah, most of the knowledge is like that. I believe that I, yeah, I was learning English in a college here in Osulutan. But when I went to the United States, it's the place where I learned the most and I improved my English and everything. So I guess experience and being part of something is when you have like more, I don't know, knowledge. When you're studying, you're you just get like a glance. You know what is a glance? Okay, something that is oh. at a glance or glance is un vistazo, okay, glance. So I just got a glance, when you're studying, you just get a glance about the job. But when you're working, you know the real stuff. How many, how many times did you be in, in USA? I lived there just for a year. But the most oh, important... Four years? No, oh. for a year, a year. Oh, one year. Oh. For a year. But the most important thing is that I lived with people from the United States. So I didn't live with Latinos. I live with the people from the United States. So I didn't speak Spanish. I only talked in English. So Where? that's, I lived in Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota is yeah. north. Yeah, oh. close to Canada. Yes, yes. Yeah, Minnesota. it's really cold. <laughs> yes. So yeah, the, the, I think that's the, 
I think, guys, that's how we learn another language, being surrounded by the language. So, for example, I, if, I, yeah, Juan Jose? Okay. I, I'm working in Guatemala for three years, and I know uh, one people, uh, he, it was, he was born in Sweden, Sweden. Uh, Sweden. Yes, I, I think that is Sweden. But he, he knows seven language. Yeah. And he here, French. yeah, and here's the deal. When you learn one language, the second one is easier to learn because you, you get like, I don't know, it's, it's so, just easy. For example, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to learn French. French, yeah, but it's difficult sometimes because French is, I don't know, it's more complicated, but sometimes when I hear, when I listen to people speaking in French, for me, it's easy to kind of understand some words, because if you go with the numbers in French, you will see the numbers in French. They are like numbers in Spanish and in English. The numbers in French are like I don't know, they, they sound like, some of the numbers sound like Spanish and some of the numbers sound like in English. It's a combination. Yeah, it's a combination. So sometimes like as much languages as you learn, it's easier for you. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna learn, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, um, guys, I, the time's up. Now we're gonna share that experience with our classmates, okay? Yes? So you're gonna go to the breaker rooms really quick, really quick, and then you're gonna share your experience. Just start talking about your experience. So if you sent the experience to the chat, please copy and save it to you because you will need it in the breaker rooms, okay? Yes? Yes, teacher, we understand. Oh, okay, thank you, yes. student. Okay. Yes, Very good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Yeah.
we didn't finish, but it's okay. It was short time, <laughs> very short. Yeah, I know, guys, I told you it was going to be like really, really short because we didn't have enough time. But we're going to continue tomorrow, right? When we start the class, we can continue with that activity just like really quick. Just, so save the paragraph you did so you can share it tomorrow. I'm going to yeah. go with the attendance because then I have to stay with Diana, right, Diana? Today's your turn? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, I'll be ready for your questions. <laughs> Okay, guys, okay. let's go with the last attendance of the day. Remember, cameras on and microphones on, on only if you want, only if you have something to say, like, I'm here. Okay, let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Erlinda Sainz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Margueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here. Eh, Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Floridalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Kerry uh, Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Okay. Uh, Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. No. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemi Sánchez Pérez. Eh, Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. And Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay. So have a good night, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to stay with Diana today, right? Okay. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Good night. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Teacher, I'm sorry. The last question. Yeah. Is uh, you will uh, check the exercise number five. If, no, all the exercise from the week one. Week one. Todos los ejercicios de la unidad uno de la sección uno. Okay, section one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay thank bye. you. Bye bye. Hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. <laughs> so what is the what is the questions that you have for today? Um it's related with the when we can use in and add for places. <laughs> that if was the same question have... Brenda asked me. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, she asked me in? when to use in or not. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, please. <laughs> so only in and not, and yes. in or not. In, but for places, in and not. I don't know if on is one. Okay, on. Okay, so if in we use in to talk about places within the borders. So you know the borders of that place, like the lines that divide that place. So for example, I'm in the park. I'm in Usulutan. In. So it's a big place, but I can say in. I'm in Usulutan, I'm in the park, I'm in the supermarket, in. Sometimes it's confusing, Diana, because we can use in and at with the same place. So for example, you can say I'm in the supermarket and you can say I'm at the supermarket. You can say both. Uh, you can say okay. both. And uh, how I will know it. You can do both. Either one is correct, but what I do and what I think is that in 
is for a specific places that you know with the borders and stuff. And at is when you are referring to a very, very specific place. And the place is like a place that everyone knows and, and, and it's really specific. For example, at the park, okay? At, um, at Inglés Corporativo, for example, at Inglés Corporativo. At, but what I do, okay, I don't wanna confuse you. So I'm trying to explain this really good. In and at can be used in the same situations, mostly in the same situations. But at is just to point a place in a map. So if you can point the place in a map, you can use at. For example, I'm at the supermarket. So you're giving like your address, your direction right now. So I'm at the supermarket. Okay, that is an specific. And in, it means mostly inside of that place. In, inside of that place. And you can say, I'm in Usulutan, but you cannot say, I'm at Usulutan. I'm in Usulutan. I'm in El Salvador. Why? I'm at El Salvador. But why I cannot say, I am at Usulutan? Because in this case, you're not talking about a specific place. You're talking about like a city. But I can, I can see the department in a map. No. You can say in here. Yeah, you can say in here, but it's not a place. It's not a point that you can point. It's not something specific that you can point. It's a big place. So I'm in Usulutan, but where at? Pero donde en Usulutan? Oh, where at? Where is specific? Okay, okay. So for example, I'm at my house. That is specific. So I'm in Usulutan, at my house. Yeah, I can say I am in my house. No. Yeah, you can say I'm in my house. Why? Because you're inside of your house, inside. And when people says, when people say, uh, she's on the bus. Uh, okay, that is a really interesting one. <laughs> and it's funny actually. So in and on, you get confused with in and on sometimes, right? In and on are the similar ones. So on, for example, with places, you can say on the street, on the street. Mm -hmm. Because on is all the places you are above. So mm -hmm. you are standing mm -hmm. on that place. So for example, in, in. So for example, look, look this. So for example, this pen or marker is in my hand. In. But now it's on my hand. On my hand. So the same with places on the first street, on, like you were saying, on the first avenue, or you can use on, for example, when you have buildings with different floors, you can say I'm on the first floor, on the second floor, on the third floor, on. But now with transportation, with transportation is different, Diana. So what do you think? We say in a plane or on a plane? In? No. In a plane? Okay. I'm Let's flying listen. In a plane? Listen no. to this. All the transportations where you can be standing up are on. Oh. If you okay. can be inside of that, out. you can be inside of the trans the transportation, but you can be walking, it's on. So for example, on the train, on the bus on the plane because you are above plane. them if you can be standing up mm -hmm. if you can okay. walk around. so in a plane it's correct no on a plane no. but your seat because you can walk oh okay you're okay. seated yes but if you want to walk you can walk you want to go to the bathroom you can go to the bathroom mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, now with the places that you are sitting and you are just inside, you're not on, you're not on the car, right? You're not on the car, you're inside you're the car. In. So it's mm -hmm. in the car. 
okay. in the car, for okay. example. But here is a question for you. With motorcycles or bikes, it's in or on? On. On, why? Because you're above. Exactly, no. you're on the yes. on the <laughs> bike and on the motorcycle. You cannot be inside of the bike or inside <laughs> the motorcycle, right? So you're not no. in. So I'm in the motorcycle. Where? In the tank, maybe? In the tank? <laughs> how, how can you be inside of it? It's impossible. So you have to use the logic in that case. On okay. and in that moment. Okay, that is, I know that is tricky. And even it was tricky for me, even when I graduated. Even now, sometimes I'm like, is he not at or on? And I'm like, and I think, and then I'm like, yeah. It's this, it's in, it's on and at, right? Okay. Another and question. And then my next, oh, yes, but I think it's similar to in, in March, on March, or in the morning, or at the morning, at the morning. No. No. In, okay, with the times of the day, we say in the morning, in the at afternoon, noon? at Why noon. Why you say at, at night? And no. In noon. In the noon? <laughs> because it doesn't sound correct. Okay. I but just it's say just that. Because of the sounds. In English, I say that just think about this. English is not Spanish. <laughs> so uh -huh. not everything okay. has to be like in Spanish, right? So the translation is like, pero es en la mediodía, en la mediodía. Why do you say at noon, right? Just think about that. In English, it's like that. So in the morning, in the afternoon, at noon, at night. It's not in the night. It's at night. And when you say uh, on Monday, no, 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 no. In March or in September 2nd. Okay. So with that, I'm going to tell you it, I have a presentation. I think I have a presentation about that. So for example, on is with a specific dates, but I don't know where I have the presentation actually. Do on I May have 2nd, it? for example. On May the 2nd, you, yes. On, but with, you say in May. Okay, you just give me, I have a presentation here. I cannot find it. Just give me a second. I think it's this one, Principiante Cinco. You were you were studying uh, before with Inglés Corporativo or is this your first time? No, my first time. This is your first time? Oh, that's why. Because I think they saw that on the... Let me look for it. In or not? No, it's not here. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna explain it like this. So no, I didn't find it. So at, you use it with times. So for example, at seven, at eight, at 10, at, okay. Or you can say it with holidays. So for example, um, at Christmas, at Thanksgiving, you can say it with holidays too. So at. Then on, we have it with days of the week. Okay, you say on with days of the week. You say on with a specific dates. So for example, I was born on April 7th. I was born on August I 9th. cannot say in. No, because October in that 1st. case. No, you say on because you're saying in a specific date. Okay, specific date. You can say that only with a specific dates because if you're gonna say the month, just the month, you say in. Just the month. Just the just month. Just for months and for days, it's on, right? Days and a specific dates. So I can say I was born on April 7th, but if I only say the month, I say I was born in April. Okay. If you only say the month. You can say in also with years. 
in 2019, in 2020, in 1995, in with years, only with a year you use in. And months. In with months and years. Okay. Also, you can use it, for example, in the first century or in the decade, in the 90s, in the, in the 70s, in the 60s. For something general. Yeah, in the 60s. For example, you want to say in los 70s, in the 60s, right? And also you use in with seasons. So for example, winter, uh, fall, in the winter, in the fall. Okay. And that's it. Season. That's how you use it. Okay. That's in that case, only... you just have to learn that, right? You have to practice. Maybe that. with the practice. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Okay, Diana, that will be it for today. And it was nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. From Diana Have to Diana, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye.